Hey guys, here so and to review the Dolphin Leg Leg Iron Man Mark 47. So this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for just six and up. And this is set DLP 9067-2, and you have the box art itself, which has Iron Man and the side build, and you have Dolphin right here, superheroes, and you have Iron Man at the top. This is the top of the box. This is the side. This is the other side, this is the bottom, and finally this is the back. It shows you the rest of the set, and this is part of a weird set uh, with some miscellaneous figures from various themes. And yeah, you have Nexo Knights, Ninjago, Minecraft, and DC superheroes as well. So yeah, that's uh, definitely really cool. And yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So this is the instruction manual right here, which shows you how to build the minifigure. And you have the parts list right here. And this is the second page. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So this is Iron Man itself right here. And as you can see, he comes with uh, the studs and the cylinder pieces in translucent blue to represent him flying and let's remove them so this is the figure without the translucent blue pieces so let's start with the helmet first so the helmet it's after directly from the Iron Man Mark 45 and yeah you can see you have the eyes right here you have a black lining and you have the silver detailing at the side and yeah there is a little bit of the scratch right here which does kind of suck the quality control of this isn't that great and you can open this up and under there you can see you have Tony Stark's face it's slightly different than the normal Tony Stark face so you know there's that and this is the alternate expression which is the angry expression and for the torso print right here the arc reactor it's also slightly different uh, than the normal arc reactor detailing and yeah you have uh, the gray detailing you have uh, some gold detailing and you have the leg detailing right here with uh, the lines you have the gray part and you have this silver part right here which does kind of uh, shine a little bit and yeah you have uh, more of the yellow detailing and yeah this is the back torso detailing which does have back hip printing which is definitely really nice you have the gold detailing you have the gray detailing and yeah it does look quite accurate but aside from that that's pretty much it for Iron Man so this is the side build that's included with the figure which is this weird car right here it does have wheels but sadly the wheels they are plastic not rubber so yeah it doesn't feel that good and at the front here you have the nose in gold and you have this red piece on each side and you have this translucent blue jumper piece which is definitely a very nice piece to get you have uh, the steering wheel right here you have four studs for the figure to sit on there and you have uh, some more translucent blue pieces and this is the back it's quite a simple build as it can be used for extra pieces and yeah one thing to note here is that there is a scratch on this piece right here which yeah does really suck but aside from that that's pretty much it for the side build so origin of this main figure here so how did I tell him well I think this Iron Man here is great it's not so bad and yeah it's a uh, quite a nice alternate version from Lego's version of the Iron Man Mark 47 and yep he does look really nice but I'm not sure why they used the Iron Man Mark 45 helmet because it looks kind of weird on this figure they should have just used the Iron Man Mark 43 or the Mark 46 helmet on this figure it would have looked better but yeah the figure is not so bad the detailing is nice but the quality control of this figure here isn't that great. You know, the helmet here, you have uh, some extra plastic uh, coming out. And yeah, this right here, you have uh, the scratch. And yeah, same thing goes for the helmet. You also have a scratch. And yeah, it does really suck. And recently, Dollar Pin's quality control has gone down by a bit. So it does kind of suck. But if you like this figure, I definitely recommend you getting this one. And if you don't like the side build, you can just use this for extra pieces. So, if you're gonna buy a set here, I'll put a link to it down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch all of this right here. So, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.